What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video. So we are about to get into this video by the detail. This is whatever happened to Billie Jean, Michael Jackson's most notorious groupie, the detail. So I remember I told you guys in a reaction that I did that I did not know that Billie Jean was an actual person. I thought that was just good writing, somebody that he made up. And then you guys actually told me that no, Billie Jean was actually um a groupie or whatever so it's really interesting that the detail put this video out recently this came out on the 6th so without further ado guys i'm about to find out more about billy jean and who she was so without further ado let's just hop straight into this video so let's go singer fathered her newborn son a claim he emphatically denies throughout the track Released in 1983, the musical juggernaut propelled his thriller album to the top of the charts and spearheaded a sequence of commercial success that ultimately resulted in Jackson's 1982 album becoming the highest selling record of all time. Ironically, little did he know that the single's remarkable success would also arouse a whole host of crazed fans and their fanatical behavior continued to torment him. Life imitated art, as Michael was subsequently pursued, with several making sexual assault and paternity claims against him in court. However, the most persistent claims were those made by Lavon Palace, or Lavon Muhammad, or Gabriella Jamila, or as she would prefer to be called, Billie Jean Jackson. A well-documented star of the King of Pop who made several bombshell claims against the Billie artists, Jean's including that they had a six-year-long affair were secretly engaged and named him in a $150 million triple paternity lawsuit. As he pleaded in his tormented track, Billy Jean, quote, be careful of what you do because the lie becomes the truth. This is the tale of Michael Jackson's real life Billy Jean nightmare that continued to haunt him even beyond his death. Michael, I'm in jail because I did what you said. Hope someone gets in touch with you. And I miss you. But first, Ooh, you check out what crazy. we have new in at our online store. Link is in the, the description box below. Yeah, I don't know. She seemed a little off. It was August 14th, 1987, and Michael Jackson was just about to release his much anticipated follow up to his thriller album, Bad, <laughs> when Lavon Palace first came to public attention, filing a $150 million paternity lawsuit against the pop singer. Palace declared Michael Jackson as the father of her three children, and he was required to pay child support as well as tens of millions to support her as the mother. The then 39-year-old LaVon Palace, who demanded that the court call her Billie Jean Jackson after allegedly changing her name, claimed that she had been in a relationship with the entertainer, and they even got engaged after having their three children. She said she first met Jackson in 1975 when she was living in New York City after writing him letters and telling him, quote, I have always been in love with him and I wanted to meet him. The unemployed legal secretary said he then invited her out to LA and their children were conceived in a blue Rolls Royce parked in front of the singer's suburban Los Angeles home. Quote, All three times? Michael asked me to marry him on September 13th, 1985. I said, yes, of course. Since then, Palace said family feuds have delayed the wedding, asserting that she was in fact the inspiration for Jackson's hit song Billie Jean. Michael's alleged fiance sought legal action after the musician failed to pay support for the three children she said he admitted fathering, which included then five-year-old twins, a girl and a boy, and an 11-year-old son. She said she waited to file the lawsuit because, <laughs> quote, Michael and I were going to get married and take care of it quietly, but later stated, quote, Michael got me pregnant and I want Michael to pay for it. The claims were called ridiculous and preposterous by Jackson's publicist, <laughs> Lee Salters, with several newspapers reporting that a spokesman for a state welfare agency revealed that Palace has at least twice named other notable people as the children's father, but never filed a paternity lawsuit. The agency took custody of the children after the mother left two of them alone at a black Muslim mosque in Chicago, and the children were, at the time, living with relatives in New York City. Girl! However, this wasn't Jackson's first legal run-in with the Billie Jean imitator, as during the paternity lawsuit, it was made known in court that Palace had been harassing Jackson for over four years now. Suffering from delusions and believing she was engaged to marry Jackson, 
Palace represented herself as his fiance oh. oh. and instructed clerks at fashionable Ventura Boulevard boutiques to bill him for clothing she intended to purchase. She would also persistently loiter near Jackson's secluded estate in Encino. The situation oh, grew creepy. so bad in May 1986, Palace was sentenced to 36 months probation after being convicted of two misdemeanor courts of trespassing and at the same time, Michael Jackson also obtained a restraining order barring her from coming within 100 yards of his Los Angeles home. However, in September 1986, she was sentenced to 52 days in jail and two years probation after she was convicted of trespassing Jackson's estate yet again. In January 1988, five months after filing her bombshell $150 million paternity lawsuit against Michael Jackson, LaVon Palace's case was swiftly dismissed by the judge due to a lack of evidence. However, a 41-year-old Palace, now cited as LaVon Muhammad, found herself back in court again later that year when she violated the terms of her 1986 restraining order. In August, Palace tried unsuccessfully to purchase a wedding gown by having it billed to Jackson, and in December billed $145 in medical expenses to the singer. She pleaded innocent to eight misdemeanor charges, which, yet again, included trespassing after she was arrested at 3 a.m. with a bottle of champagne in Jackson's and Chino backyard, having just scaled a five-foot wall. Palace's Girl, lawyer predicted what? that the jail sentence would not deter Palace from returning mm. to Jackson's property after she is released. Oh, Quote, she looks creepy. She feels like Michael wants her on the property, that she's supposed to be there, the lawyer said. Therefore, mm -hmm. the judge offered to send Palace for a mental evaluation in exchange for a lighter sentence, but she refused. Quote, I don't require mental health care, sir, yes, she said, do. declining any treatment. Therefore, she was found to be guilty and was sentenced to two and a half years in prison. To drive home his point, the Los Angeles Municipal Court judge quoted lyrics from a Jackson song while sentencing Palace, referring to the song Leave Me Alone, with the chorus <laughs> saying, quote, so just leave me alone, girl. Just stop dogging me, girl. Quote, you listen to the chorus of that song and you listen to those words, the judge said. Oh, I'm gonna go back and listen to that. However, this wouldn't be the last of Michael Jackson's ordeal. As LaVon Palace, or Gabriella Jamila Jackson, as she was referred to in court papers from 1995, was sentenced to 99 days in jail after she pleaded no contest to trespassing at the King of Pops and Chino Damn, home jailbird. on three separate occasions, each time claiming to be Michael Jackson's wife. The now Santa Barbara resident was also ordered as part of the sentence to not telephone, follow, oh. threaten, strike, or make any physical contact with a singer or his family members. As late as 2008, the then 60-year-old LaVon Palace was now making claims in court papers that she was the mother of Michael Jackson's six-year-old son, Blanket, and was suing the singer for partial custody and child support to the tune of $1 billion, a sum capitalized in the court documents. In addition to $1 mm. billion, Palace was also asking for visits with Blanket on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, as well as a say shit. in his education. In court, it was revealed that Palace was yet again arrested for attempting to scale the fence at Jackson's Neverland Ranch after she demanded to be let in, at claiming 60? to be Jackson's wife. In November 2009, several months after Michael Jackson's untimely death, LaVon Palace went to court for this claim. What proof can you show me you're the mother? Said the judge, quote, I was pregnant and Michael took him. If we took DNA tests, that would prove it. I'm the mother, she said. Quote, I'm Michael's wife. There was a marriage on May 1986. I don't want to tell you in open court about it because it sounds like a miracle. Michael sings to me on his album. Ooh. In tears, Palace stated in court, quote, they stalked me. The police would threaten me. Michael's family threatened me and had me arrested. The judge declared she hadn't shown him a biological connection to Blanket, denied her petition to court, and subsequently suggested she seek psychiatric help. Alice yeah. reportedly stood silently for a moment, absorbing the news that her moment in the sun was over. The light in her eyes went out. She had lost more than a billion dollars. Her face irritates me. Watch I don't more like her. This is not a fan. First of all, 
everything everything sounds money motivated you just wanted this man's money you didn't really want a relationship with him you just wanted his money like these types of people are not fans they claim to be super fans and they love them so much but you are not a fan lady you are a psychotic delusional weirdo is she still alive i don't think the video mentioned if she was still alive or not but that's weird that's really scary like Ugh. all right y'all that was my reaction to this video if you guys enjoyed my reaction please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next reaction video bye